If you love writing philosophy but find that sometimes reading it is very dry, may I suggest Michelle Serres' 1985 book, The Five Senses. I forgot the title for a second. Um, Sarah is a French philosopher and you would not believe like the juicy stories that he tells in this book. He starts by talking about the experience of trying to escape from a fire on a boat and what that means for the nature of the self. Like is the self the half of his body that is outside the boat in this storm or is it the body, the half of his body that is still inside the boat, like trying to escape from this fire. He talks about cutting his nails as um, a great example of like where the eye rests, like your, your eye or yourself suddenly moves from the hand doing the cutting to like the nail that you are trying to cut. He talks about Cinderella and the fact that the slipper was originally fur rather than glass. And one of my favorite parts, although it could be read as very pretentious, is when he talks about being in a Greek amphitheater and just sitting in silence, enjoying the beauty of the day and uh, the noise of the birds. And then suddenly this boatload of tourists comes and just like starts causing a racket. And he says they really have no idea what they're experiencing. They're not actually listening to the sound of the amphitheater, which is as much of a part, is as much a part of experiencing it as seeing it is. I'll close by reading you a quick quote from that passage. He says, or that section, he says, like the submerged cathedral of old, the earth is engulfed by noise. Can we break the circle of this theater, open a doorway in the hull of the vessel, break free of its wake when the whole universe resounds with our fury? Being enclosed in a group condemns us to language and language alone, since even social silence produces it. Being enclosed in language stops us from seeing that the noise that it makes veils and overwhelms the things which compose our world and causes them to vanish. Talk about this book in the vision and hearing episodes of Overthink Podcast, which came out pretty recently, but I definitely recommend checking out the book yourself if you want a juicy and very poetic philosophy read. Also some French snark.